conference was good sir yeah good evening and welcome to yet another video with one of the toppers in the neat examinations that were recently concluded the neat ss 2024 surgical group and we have with us what i consider to be a very proud moment for all of us here at dr tutorials and particularly for me we have a member of the armed forces from the indian navy we have surgeon commander dr abhishek here with us and uh, not only is he serving the nation i think this point of time i mean even when he told me that he is in the you know armed forces i was feeling really happy and uh, today with whatever has happened and in the background of all that is happening i first wish to salute you for all the work that you are doing for our country we all owe you a debt which can never be repaid so welcome thank you so much sir uh, thank you for your kind words and i would like to say at the outset it's indeed an honor to be interviewed by you sir and especially among the student fraternity like us you are an academic stalwart uh, who is renowned across the length and breadth of this country so thank you so much for taking out your time and for this interview no it is actually we who should be thankful that you are able to come and talk to us because i know there are a lot of formalities you have to get the permission and all that so i thank you from all my heart the entire team is thankful that you could join us today so again after you know saluting you i will say great congrats to you you know really getting the top 4 in the country in being in the top 5 is something which is a very unique achievement not many people actually get it and you can say that you know with more pride that i have managed to do it today so how are you feeling uh sir obviously uh, feeling very happy but it's actually a mixed emotion uh, more than happy i'm feeling relieved because a lot of effort <laughs> had gone in the last 18 months and now i can just sit back relax enjoy time with family watch ipl and uh, do things that i love more than studying so <laughs> feeling very relieved sir. Okay, I get that feeling, you know, sometimes when we are putting in a lot of effort for it, as you say, it is probably relief which will be the first emotion rather than joy which uh, will come. That will come later, maybe after you, you know, sort of settle down and spend a little time, then it will suddenly strike you, wow, I've done something which is really unique in the country. And, you know, it's it's great. It's, it's a great feeling at that point. So, again, from the point of view of the fact that you are in the armed forces, uh, you know, enjoy your time much more than anybody. I was telling this to all the people who have gotten the ranks just sit back enjoy your time for the next one month or so till you join the you know uh, center whichever you are taking so uh, just tell us a little about yourself uh, where did you start and how did you do your under graduation and post graduation yes sir so i completed my under graduation from armed forces medical college pune and uh, after okay. completing sir i got commissioned in indian navy uh, okay. This was around 14 years back and uh, so I have served this beautiful service uh, and this glorious uh, uniform for the last uh, one and a half decade. Uh, sir, uh, I did my uh, post-graduation in general surgery from Army Hospital RNR which is in New Delhi and uh, after completing my four years of uh, service as general surgeon, I have appeared for uh, this knee test. <laughs> really unique so you have been in the army all through one and a half decades is much more you know most people whom i know who have been in the army are part of the army as a you know sort of like short service commission and then many of them move out but you have been there for 15 years that's practically you know half or one third of my life at least i can say that so you know that's a really you know it's a human service whatever you're doing you may not be really in the front doing things but you know serving the armed forces who have come either in the army, in the navy, in the air force, either way, whatever you have rendered so far, again, I salute you. It's it's really a proud moment for me that I have been able to help you and achieve whatever you have done today. In some way, I have been helpful. I feel very grateful. So, uh, tell us a little not, about your preparation. You have been helpful a great way, sir. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, uh, not some way, sir. You have been helpful a uh, very significant way, sir. Oh, thank you. I think, you know, this is something which I tell all my students. It's individual effort that comes in first that person should be motivated they should do you know as they say in you know in zen philosophy when the student is ready the teacher appears so that is what i completely believe in i think the students are putting in a lot of effort we are sort of like signboards or ladders or whatever that we we guide them along the way in whatever way we can 
so that is our role in this and i'm really proud i tell all my students it is the students effort that makes a lot of difference and uh, tell us a little about your journey and your preparation uh, you know and how dr torials was uh, helpful to you uh, so i started my preparation uh, 18 months back sir uh, okay so uh, since i have i had done my ms uh, in 2019 so uh, we had a new addition of sebastian and baby sir so the first yeah. job was to again go back to my books uh, read the new edition of sebi and belly and uh, uh, make my foundation sir so the first 6 month i had uh, focused on just building on uh, the foundation after i completed that sir i went in to solve the various question banks uh, i'll be honest sir i had used a couple of platforms but the epicenter of my preparation revolved around doc tutorial adds off to uh, the question bank it was very exhaustive and it really helped me in uh, just i would say uh, securing my foundation so and reinforcing what i have read from the textbooks so the question banks were very uh, helpful in that manner once i was coming close towards the business end of the exam i uh, took the mock test and apart from the doc tutorial mock test sir i subscribed to the bailey uh, daily 10 minutes uh, bailey question bank was there chapter wise and apart from that another great uh, test series that was started by a platform which i really found helpful was the sebastian elite test so what all this mock test and uh, test series did was it again reinforced my mistakes reinforced the uh, the blind spot that were there in various chapters that i was not able to probably remember at the first go and uh, it really made me uh, confident going into the exam great 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 so uh, just a simple question suppose you had uh, been able to access doc tutorials during your uh, post graduation would that have helped with your preparation uh, and also with your post graduation how do you think it it would have uh, been right sir. so i can uh, answer that based on my interaction with various of my various civil colleagues uh, various friends sir uh, so everyone uses the doc tutorial video lectures probably in the second year and what they have told me is that it again just just like i said that it reinforced my concepts from the textbook even for the uh, pg exam which comes in the third year uh it read the question bank the video lectures really help not only the mcq part but also uh, clearing the exams because the foundation is what is required be it the pg exam be it the mcq be it the other uh, licensing exam which are there across the world so uh, heads off sir in fact i would like to say that i had subscribed since i knew i would take onco surgery i had subscribed to your surgical onco iniss video lectures and they were just class apart because uh, half of the lectures were not there from the textbooks sir it was the concepts from devita it was concept from different books so i really loved your surgical offer thank you so much dr abhishek that is indeed a uh, you know a proud moment for us that we could help you in you know in achieving your dream so to say <laughs> so as you already said you wanted to take up surgical oncology and you know great field i am sure that you will be uh, doing wonders and you know in the interaction that we had before this interview you were telling me that you want to learn new things and make a change in r&d that is what you were telling because likely you will get posted that so uh, how would you like to in the armed forces yeah. per se yeah in the armed forces per se great great yeah. because you know unlike many other people you are uniquely placed to get into the because you are already in the army you are uniquely placed to get into r and r you know other than the other institutes as well so uh, you know congrats and so what is your plan what are you planning to uh, where are you planning to take up a surgical oncology so uh, that, that's a million dollar question sir and uh, <laughs> so it there was a big uh, discussion and a big research between Uh, the obvious choice which is uh, tata memorial center mumbai sir and uh, but uh, after doing lot of research and speaking to my seniors and the fact that i am i will not be doing the bond so i'll be doing only 3 years and then i will be going back to arm forces so i have decided to take uh, gujarat cancer research institute at amdavad great great see gcri is equally an old institute where 
you know renowned institute uh, people generally prefer tata but then gcri is a close sort of like you know competitor for the, the top two usually are gcri and tata so either one of them i'm sure that wherever you do you are going to shine it's not it's only a you know place ultimately as i tell many of my junior colleagues this is going to be the last sort of structured training program that you're going to go through three years sitting studying doing your thesis everything is going to happen in the next three years so spend the maximum time there or learn basically you know try to gain the knowledge because if i were to you know go back in time and do i will probably redo a lot of things which i did during my mch so try and enjoy the course it might be difficult i know not all environments are easy work will be tough all these are there but try and enjoy the course have the final objective in mind i i'm sure you are much more focused than what i was when i was you know getting into mca so you already have a clear plan that i want to do these things and bring about changes so you know hats off to you you already have clarity of vision and uh, you know just go ahead and do it so <laughs> all the best and uh, this is again a live platform live streaming which will be happening now and also later which will be uh, kept on youtube so this can be a moment where you can take time and thank people whom you know uh, with whom you have been you know kind of interacting with who have helped you in your journey so please go ahead uh, thank you sir and uh, firstly i would like to uh, uh, just show my gratitude to my parents uh, to my family because uh, today whatever i am it's because of the sacrifices the blessing and guidance of my parents uh, special mention to my sister uh, my younger sister who is an ophthalmologist and uh, in fact uh, she the way she handles not only the subject but also the life so being younger but she is still a big inspiration to me dr chetani uh, a bigger a uh, backbone of uh, my preparation for the last 18 month has been no greater other than my wife uh, she is major joyita uh, she is in the military nursing service and she is posted with wow. <laughs> Both the fact she was sorry sir. no no it's again hats off to you i cannot you know commend you more both of you are in the army and armed forces that is again salute you there is no other words i i'm really at a loss for words sir. thank you so much sir and uh, in fact she was the one who pushed me that uh, being single surgeon is slightly difficult in a remote place uh, we do get exhausted uh, quite often but she was the one who told me to stick to my schedule Uh, stick to my preparation and matlab uh, took care of everything around me so just it just left me to focus on my studies nothing so she was the biggest uh, i would say my motivator and my uh, cheer leader uh, who got me here uh, sir if you don't mind she would like to say two sentences to you definitely sir. please uh, please if i can please around the <laughs> yeah yeah please Uh, she's major joyita yeah sir salute to you madam <laughs> so it's really an honorable moment for having both you know both of you from the armed forces here it's it's a proud moment for the entire country today you know even before that you know it's it's at every point of time whenever anybody meets uh, someone from the army we are all we, we all feel that sense of pride and you know uh, your husband was just telling us how much of an inspiration you have been in motivating him and making things work because you know it's the silent effort it's like people say that gandhi ji is great but then behind him kasturba gandhi was able to tolerate everything and sort of align with him and do it so the same way you are uh, there ma'am pushing him i have happened uh, being Sir, actually, it's all it was very much focused, and he worked very. Hard. He was consistent, and uh, his focus was like Arjuna's. That I have to uh, in the birds, birds eye. Like he was very, very much focused, and uh, I want to convey my gratitude because for being his mentor, uh, and uh, you, your classes, sir, uh, and your video lectures, it has helped him a lot. And I think because of that, he always say this that he was able to secure this much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much for your kind words. I feel really honored and humbled by your kind words. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Abhishek, go on. Who else uh, do you want to? Hope, hope I Thank didn't you. take much time, sir. <laughs>
No, no, no. Right. It's completely fine. Today is your show. It's, it's completely your show. You can take as much time as you want. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. And sir, I would next, sir, I would like to thank uh, my teachers in uh, the field. Uh, particularly, I was blessed to have teachers across my service. Right from internship, uh, I was inspired by stalwarts of onco surgery in Indian Navy. Uh, presently, Major General retired uh, Shankaran sir and Surgeon Commodore Rohit Sharma. They were very crucial in inspiring me right from a very young age. During my PG, sir, there were a myriad of teachers at Delhi. A special mention to Brigadier Pankaj Sharma and Colonel Animesh Wurtz. Uh, and to all of my uh, surgical oncology fraternity at Army Hospital RNR. Uh, sir, uh, the reason I took surgery was because of uh, another mentor who guided me and who has, in fact, last 10 years has been kind of my uh, support whenever I got lo get lost. Uh, Wing Commander A.K. Singh, he's a neurosurgeon from Sri Chetra, presently at uh, Bangalore. So, uh, and there are many, sir, many teachers who have been uh, guiding me throughout my service. I'm all, all thank you to every one of them. Uh, lastly, sir, if uh, I can, uh, I would like to thank my commanding officer of this particular unit. Uh, because being single surgeon, they understood ki, uh, to crack an all India exam, uh, I need to have a little bit time once I come out of hospital. So they have, they gave me that uh, freedom. They gave me that backing. Uh, surgeon Commodore Sanjay Datta and Surgeon Captain Anu Singhal, both the commanding officer and all of my colleagues here, uh, all of every one of them, including the anesthetist, gynae, pediatrician, my orthopedician, sir, they were so crucial in giving me that extra time. If you are studying, you don't worry. You just look into your uh, work and your studies. Rest will handle. So I would like to say in the end that it was a combined team effort. Uh, not only just by me, but my family, my friends, my uh, my teachers and everyone. That's great, uh, Dr. Abhishek. What you're saying is absolutely right. Behind every man, there is usually an army, so to say. It's not just one person. It's usually an army of people who are working together and they make them realize their potential. That's always that way. And, you know, truly blessed people understand this and they pay homage as you have done to all the people. In fact, interestingly, I would say that I was inspired to take surgical oncology by, I believe it is, uh, you know, General Rautre, if I'm using the designation right. Sir. Is it General Rauth, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. So, sir was in the command hospital in Bangalore. And this was at the time when I was doing my surgery and used to go for the Bangalore continuing surgical exam series. At that time, sir. their command over surgical oncology was completely, you know, it's like crystal clear concepts they used to give. And that was very inspiring. That is completely something that made me want to do surgical oncology in a way that nothing else can. And, uh, you know, the same way, I think you have been inspired by a lot of people and, you know, all of us are proud of the army and, you know, the armed forces. So hats off to you and we salute you again and madam as well by your side. So thank you again for joining us. Uh, you know, it's a pleasure having you here, uh, you know, as a team from the entire Doc Tutorials fraternity, we again salute you. Salute you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, the pleasure and honor was mine, sir. Thank you so much. and. Uh, just last uh, line before I can just, uh, if I may, that the reason I came to Doc Tutorial was uh, because of my friend, sir. Uh, so again, a big special thank you to, uh, again, he's in Navy, Surgeon Commodore Saurabh Mishra, uh, his wife Palak and uh, Lieutenant Colonel Zenit, his wife Shrushti and all of my friends. And they were the backbone uh, throughout my PG and again uh, for my preparation. And thank you so much for, uh, for your time, sir. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Surgeon Commander. And Jai Hind. We can definitely say it with pride today, Jai Hind. Jai Hind, sir. Thank you. Thank you.